that was for uh, Albert Watson, um, Tommy McDonald, and <laughs> Gillen, Crossing the Ridge. So, a wee Canadian band dance to get you started. We'll have to get everybody saying hi when they come online and then tell us where you're, where you're listening in from. I know, we need all that information. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's nice for us because we can't sometimes tell. Um, once once everybody starts watching them, we we have no idea <laughs> if anybody's still there or not. <laughs> yeah, missing a pause. You get to end a tune and there's like nothing. It's weird. <laughs> so, um, what would request do you want to do? Want to do the time about? Yeah. It's up to you. There's no all there. Oh, it's your writing. I can't read that. Oh, right. Okay. Scribbles. <laughs> scribbles all over the place. So. <laughs> Um, we had a, a, a request from Laura Ogg, so who's a relation of yours, isn't she? Yes, yeah. Yeah, Laura's so, cousin. So for Pearl and Bertha, uh, a request for the high level. So, is that the new or the old one? Uh, no, no, like the, 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 the B-flat one. The, no, the hard one. <laughs> Not the new high level. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're going to do some other reels in with it as well. Um, we'll start with that tune anyway, and we'll go on and play some other tunes, Mrs. Mary Printy and whatever else it takes us after that, maybe yeah. Tito Loves Real and uh, the Merry Blacksmith. <coughs> so Thank you. 
five reels. <laughs> My goodness. My fingers are nearly sore. <laughs> so that was a high level uh, for Laura Ogg and for Pearl and Bertha. So a big hello to them if they're watching. And uh, we, finished, we went on to an Ian McPhail tune miss, Mary Printy. And then a teetotal of us real. That's what Gemma is today, a teetotal. She's <laughs> underwater. <laughs> I've, been, I've never known been a teetotaler. <laughs> the Mary Blacksmith, and we stuck in a, a request at the end here for, we played it earlier in the concert earlier, but it was Callum Donaldson, a Ronnie Cooper tune for Dave Ritchie from Dunfermline. Hi Dave, I hope you get the box on and you're still practising, I've seen you for a few weeks, so. Let's have a look at the comments and yeah. see. Whoa. See what's happening. Whoa, there's lots of comments. There's lots of people. The tap Sophie. Definitely. My goodness. Carol, you'll have to send the music through for that one. I don't have it. Hey, Audrey Graham. Hi, guys. Hope you got my requests. Looking forward to this session. Looking forward to the show. Graham Wilson was very kind and let a lot of his uh, followers know on the Sunday Keely that um, we're alive tonight and doing a programme. So you might, we might get a few more followers coming in. Um, we played the Headlands and any 12 oh, eights. Yeah. Uh, that. What was the first 2 4? Tommy McDonald about Gillen was the first was, 2 4. That was Dave Richie. Yeah, that's for Dave. Um, well, the request was for Albert Watson, but that that is a uh, tune. And Dave is. Oh, from Shetland. Where are we going? Oh, so, oh, I'm not even reading that right. I'm just, I saw S and thought, oh yeah, Shetland. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello from Sutherland, that's Maggie Jimson. Uh, when you were going to have a tune tonight. Loving loving your Kellys. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I know we're vexed we couldn't be up, but that's, I that's know. Just, just how things are really. We were meant to be yes. at Rogert according to the book, didn't we? Listening in for Norway. Jean Anderson here for Midial again. Graham Wilson. Paula McGilvery, please would you play my forms? Goodness, you want to give me that? <laughs> Maybe tomorrow's kill, you'll get that right down. Uh, Eric Goodfellow um, says Kathleen Watts. Okay. Ivor Scully, brilliant music yet again, thanks for keeping us entertained. Gemma, I'm hoping you sing that song by the Ink Spots and also the slow air for Brian Gear. Okay. Keep it going on the best. Oh, yeah, we could do that one. Yeah. I've done him yet. Okay, yeah. well, that's plenty to go on with. Maybe. Lorraine McCall's a super idea, I love your music. Thank you very much for commenting, everybody. We will get back to you all, I'm sure. <laughs> well, feel, free, feel free to share it as a watch party as well, if any of you are up for that. Boston, that's another one. Okay, that's a good tune. That's a good Shetland love, tune for a Boston Marie. Tuesday. Yeah. Um, Dave was asking about the Shetland Reel that you were speaking about. This uh, Shetland Reel set that you were speaking about. Callum Donaldson was in it. All oh, right, okay. I just stuck um, Callum Donaldson in for you, Dave, at the end of that one. We didn't do the, the set that we've been working on, so... Um, so, we'll maybe go on and play a few more tunes and... Yeah. Um, well, Bertha and Willie's Boston. Um, but, yeah. Willie and Bertha's one. Boston. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, Bluebell Polka. Stuart Cameron's still waiting for the Bluebell Polka again. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> that must be his favourite tune. must have went all play, <laughs> 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 Anything you like. We'll but, do Billy um, and Bertha's Boston. Okay. That's a good Boston two step uh, written by Andrew. Stop cheeks and then we'll go back through. Andrew that. Houston. We'll have to start speed reading. Speed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Shetland, they do three bars and two steps. At every least. single time At they least. do it. Every <laughs> single time they dance it. So. Anyway, so that was, uh, what was that? William Bertha's boss. Yes, yeah. We've we got to play a wee waltz. There's um, a waltz from earlier that we didn't do. Um, was it Kate Martin's waltz? Who was that for again? I can't remember. Can't remind where I wrote that down. Yeah. Is that one there? I don't think it even is. No. Um, that was maybe in the, was maybe Somebody in the asked day. for Kate Margaret's Waltz, but I think it's Kate Martin's. Yeah, or it could be good. Margaret's Waltz. We'll play the two of them together and then that solves that problem. So, um, so. We were in the supermarket in between concerts today and we went to do it just a wee bit shopping. It was not a thing on the shelf <laughs> we, apart from... We got tatty salads <laughs> and um, what else did we manage to Mackerel. Smart mackerel. What was the soup? <laughs> Oh, the only soup that was left on the shelf it must be one that nobody likes. It's broccoli and Stilton soup, so we bought a tin of that. <laughs> just, just one tin. Yeah, we didn't no, buy no, 15 of them. There were plenty, plenty of them. Like, yeah, there was but... loads. There was no, no other type of soup. <laughs> Either it's a tomato, like a packet of tomato soup with chilli in it, so maybe nobody wanted that because there wasn't any toilet paper, so... <laughs> No, there seems to be a bit of a theme going. <laughs> it might grieve. Can you play the Dark Island for Pam? She's sitting here. Reckoning. Recovering. From Recovering. Us. Okay, all the best to you, Pam, and uh, Mike as well. We'll need to catch up with you. It's been too long. Um, so, yeah, we could put the Dark Island in with this yeah. set, actually. Just do it then. Yeah. <laughs> later on that's the other one that's kind of different yeah. tempo that one and kathleen was asked yeah as well. kathleen too so 
Any other messages? Yeah, um, there's... I keep scrolling back. <laughs> Amanda nice. Halleck. Hi Amanda, hope you're doing well. Tell your mum and dad we're asking for them. Whistle and Rufus. Um, orange Blossom for Amanda. <laughs> oh gosh. You're asking for all that. That's no problem, we can stick it in. Yeah. Pygmy Polka oh, um, yeah. for Paula. Yeah, Spanish Eyes. I think Spanish that Eyes on on here as well. well yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Montgomery's Rant. I've heard of that, yeah. I'm sure I kind that one. I'll look it up and we'll do it in the next video yeah. if we don't manage to do it in this one. If it doesn't come to me. Um, yeah, the Centena Jewel and Mrs. McLeod. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Miss, Mrs. McDonald, I don't know. Okay, that right. yeah. so these are two, four pipes. Yeah. Pipe artists. What do you do um, Pygmy's Polka? Oh, there's my cousin Robert. Uh, okay. Simper. He says, wish, wish your great uncle Jim was watching. Could you play Leave Larrick Harbour? Must get to the home to put this on for him. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that at some point. Um, and then you can you can let them come and they can put it on for him. There's no Kirsten. Problem. Oh, there's Kirsten. Hello. Dad's asking if you can mind the Feisty Piri Islander tune you wrote for Piri Fern. Yes, absolutely. That's no problem. We can stick that one in too. Okay. <laughs> Why don't oh, you go on and, mind all of these the headlines as well. Yes, the headlines was in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what you want to do? Do the headlines? Yeah. And we'll maybe go on and do some other tunes. Mm -hmm. Maybe after. <laughs>
Is that last one, the Brougham? That's the Brougham, yeah, just through that. And I don't think we've played that. that for years. No, I played, I played that tune with Lindsay, but... Lindsay Weir, yeah. Very good. So, um, the tune. first tune was the Headlands, a Ronnie Cooper tune there, followed by another request we had from Joe mm -hmm. Bruce for uh, Mrs. MacDonald of Denach. And the last one, the Brougham. That wasn't a request, that was just one that we wanted. It's <laughs> just one you stuck in. Yeah, that's it. Um, well, um, what else would you like to do? What's the message's name? Life in the Finland Woods. Is that oh, Life in the Finley Woods? Finland Woods. Yeah. My dad used to play that tune. I know, I'll have to get that right out. Maybe for tomorrow's concert. And the centenary duo was the Netherlands. It. A Saturday night in Quendale Bay. We got asked to do that one earlier as well. Quendale Bay, yeah. Um, Remember, maybe. Yeah. There's, there's a few folk that, that I suppose the, the slow ones sometimes are um, maybe not as exciting or not as happy <laughs> soon, then, but we try and make them as happy as we can. <laughs> yeah. This one's a, a request. Who made the request that this one? Quindle. Was Warren Henderson. Yeah, Warren Henderson is his folk. Yeah. Quendell. Yeah. Quendell
smoking it up as we go. Know, it's, it's quite, quite fun. Good. It's, it's quite good fun. fun. <laughs> so, when they'll be by Phil coming on there. Um, another request uh, for uh, Graham Wilson. Uh, oh and yeah, he sent. He sent. He us sent some music, music to yeah. us um, that he would like. He sent it this afternoon. And this tune's called We Annie's Burnt Sausages, so this might cheer it's, you up. It's written for um, Anne uh, Faye Shetland, Anne Smith, that was my, um, well, she had the misfortune of having to teach me football. Um, she was my football coach when I was pretty <laughs> last. <laughs> Thankfully I gave up when I was nine, I think all, all the rest of the boys in the class started picking on me. I think I might one boy coming up behind me and um, howling on my... Uh, no, no, even gym shorts, my tracksuit bottoms, but he managed to accidentally get ahead of my tracksuit bottoms, my shorts, and thankfully not my pants, but I was left just about to tackle penalties, <laughs> standing in my pants going, and I ran, <laughs> ran in, head in the room, in the changing rooms, and I never came out till my mum came to get me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't think they meant to do it as badly as that, but it did give me a right glow. Then he just had the wrong idea of what, like, scoring with somebody was. <laughs> he was nine. <laughs> I don't think that was on the agenda, darling. <laughs> but yeah, um... So this is We Annie's Burnt Sausages, <laughs> and it's written by Graham Wilson, and I know Graham's in watching tonight. Hello, Graham. I hope we play it okay for you. Um, it's, it's a great tune. Uh, the second part's a, a bit of a challenge, but... We'll, we'll manage it. So, anyway, here we go. It's a wee two step for you. <clears throat> One, two, three. <laughs>
Chinese burnt sausages. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah, it's alright, I'll do it. Because <laughs> you won't touch the screen again. <laughs> Alan touched the screen and the whole thing went a bit a bit sideways for a minute. <laughs> We have, we have a touchscreen computer, which is, is not the best thing. <laughs> I wouldn't have buy another one, I don't think. It doesn't make things easier, it makes it harder to work with. Yes. When something goes wrong, it's a bit too... Uh, it gets confused very easily. That's it. A bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about the messages? What's all happening oh, there's the a lot. Shall we go... I don't want to miss anybody out, so... Okay. Let's go back and see what we're, we're... There's lots of lots of requests. Yeah. Um, if we don't play a request tonight, we will be trying to put them in in the next few days. We're going to try and do this daily because we've nothing else to do other than renovate a big house and this is much better fun, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> much less productive in the case of getting the house sorted, but much more fun. <laughs> much more enjoyable. <laughs> um, so... Uh, Ken Muir's up in a bar, they're not going to enjoy these fire. Oh, somebody asked for um, Donald Ian Ryan kind of pretty started one, I okay. think. I saw it, but uh, it, it's back a bit, so. All oh, right, okay, we can uh, put that Jig in the yeah. Um, yeah. Mark's Legacy. Yeah, there's Donald Ian Ryan for all the shit on this list then. Okay. A couple of six eights. John recalls farewell to the Scottish Horse. Right. And word choice. Um, Old time waltz, my love is like a red red rose, my nanny's a wa, cardi you uh, cardi to the nose. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Graham Wilson says, Many thanks. The stream stopped after the first part. We throw jinxed it. <laughs> well, that's fine, you didn't hear my mistakes in the third part, maybe then. <laughs> it came it came back after a few seconds. Yeah, that's because Alan touched the screen. And then everything, my, my internet started needing to do more things in order to get it back. <laughs> That's okay. As you can tell, I'm not technology. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but itchy fingers. Itchy fingers, yeah. <laughs> so, we could probably put all of, a lot of that into one set. We'll maybe do Ken you or something along. Okay. I'm not going to job these by a... Um, so, then the other jigs in here. Uh, Donald Dean Rankin. There's... Um, Jig Runrig was asked for Fergie MacDonald. Yes, it was. We're going to play it like Fergie. <laughs> you can't keep that up. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you didn't so, have a pretty button box, so it no, doesn't really work. No, this will work with me, no. And then we'll go into the real itchy fingers and we'll see what happens after that. Two, three. <laughs>
been doing. Uh, I know, Gideon stood it over that one. <laughs> Goodness. Oh well. That, that sorted out a few requests anyway. So that was Ken Muir's up in the wall. Muck and a job he's by Donald Dean Rankin. We even did the, the, the drunken Donald Dean Rankin. I don't know if you heard that there. Uh, second time through, he got a bit drunk. Um, and then the tune after that was Jig Runrig, Fergie McDonald tune, and then Itchy oh. Fingers. So. It's actually, my, we minded to leave the other heater on uh, off in here, so it's not quite so much yeah. like a sauna, but it's still really warm. <laughs> If we didn't send move so much, I'm sure then it wouldn't have been quite so warm in here, but... <laughs> Your personal central heating's turned up too, that Yeah, it's it always been like that first, but it lasts. Dad was the same. So, anyway, there's loads of messages here. We've still got tons of requests to get through, band so... Dance. Um, a barn dance for Robert Barclay. Um, Rosemary Butcher uh, asked for Spanish Eyes uh, earlier yes. today. So maybe we'll try and put that in, it's a bit slow, maybe give you a chance to cool down a wee bit. Yeah. So, maybe uh... I'm just oh. trying to go back up through them and see what we've, what we've missed. Mm -hmm. If there is anything that we did miss and you, you think we've not seen it, then post it again and, and I'll, I'll, I'll fin it the second time. <laughs> <laughs> The co I but can't I, get all the comments, I just no, keep having to scroll. Yeah, so, and we don't want to talk. Oh, yes, Simon. Simon, do we? Yes, this is our house, although this is a backdrop, <laughs> so our walls don't quite look like this. No, like... This is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a wooden wall, we, we're not that fancy. Yeah. Uh, and we have got disco lights set up, so. <laughs> do you know why you give away all these wee things? You know? Well. It's, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> Make them think they live in a wooden shed. We live in a, wood, yeah, live in a very small wooden shed in the back of the gear. <laughs> so we'll play some uh, tangos for you. There was a quest for Spanish eyes, so we'll do that with Capri and okay. Spanish eyes. Okay. Bye. Do, do. <laughs>
Everybody didn't start singing, then everybody would have went home. Well, you're already home, but... <laughs> I could have started dancing. That like, yeah. <laughs> Some people might not be home, home actually. You, no. might, you might just be sitting, sitting exactly. somewhere else. I was playing... I went into Brussels, into the centre of the town, with, uh, who was my wife at the time, uh, on a holiday once. And I'd hear this accordion music away in the background. I had to follow it until I found it. I wasn't going for my meal until I found out who it was. And it was so meal. So here's this guy singing away Pavarotti style. Um, and he's playing so meal. And uh, I went up and I spoke to him. And he had no money in his, his hat. So I just thought, oh, I'll tell him I play the accordion. And I got speaking. And he said, before I knew it, I was standing in the middle of Brussels playing his accordion. And he's singing so meal at the top of his voice and he's getting all this money thrown at him. And you never he, got a penny. He never gave me anything. <laughs> never gave me, never gave me a euro. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So that's a romantic piece over for tonight. So. But, um, Somebody's asked, well actually a few folk have asked. And if, um, Graham Wilson asked, Paula asked and Eric Goodfell has just asked for um, oh, Mark's yeah. legacy. Okay. Um, Matt's legacy is in G. Right, okay. Oh yeah, okay. Right. Um, so we'll play that for you. It's a pretty slow air. So that's that, uh, that's fine, we'll stick that in. Um, 
Dave Mellinson's Mellinson, I can't speak, is um, requesting Jane's reel. We might have missed that oh, one. Okay. Um, There's a few others that we've got a list here as well that we need to make our way through. Yeah. So. So keep the messages coming, keep sharing this uh, and let your friends know about it uh, and liking it if you you're enjoying it. Do you want to play a set of reels or something maybe just now and then yeah, we'll do something after that. that. Yeah, no problem. And yeah. then that keeps... Or even if we, if we do some theory Joe and then go into some reels. Yeah, like and finish with like, jeans reel out of them. Like yeah, okay. So a centenary Joe was for Joe Bruce. Sorry, not... Centenary Joe, it's a cent yeah, it is. It's a centenary yeah. March, yeah. isn't it? Phil coming in tunes. Centenary Jewel was the first tune, and then the Barburn Reel, uh, written by Addy Harper up in Wick. So, uh, and then we finished with Jean's Reel. 
So, a few more requests coming yes. in here, isn't it? Brian Morrison wants Thornton House. And we've got... <laughs> Simon says, funny, I love Melody the Roll Along. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that, we did know that. <laughs> we did it on purpose, I'm sure. <laughs> Lynn says, can you play the chief just for my brother? <laughs> my, my younger brother, Stuart, asks everybody. That's, that, that must be the, the kind of question. If you, if you can play the fiddle, then you must be able to play the chief. That's his favourite tune. <laughs> it's a brilliant tune written by Debbie Scott. Um, yeah, I can probably stick that in. There's, um, There's two requests for Thornton, Thornton House. House. Yeah, that's yeah. been requested a couple of times yeah. too. So Thornton House... Oh, we have to sing first for Ivor. Oh, we'll do that first, yes. Well, we'll do that I first. say we have to sing collectively. I will sing, otherwise you will all go away. Because if Alan sings, then it's... Well, they, might, they might all go away if I sing too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me saying that. <laughs> Nobody really wants to hear me sing. This is an old song by the Ink Spots. It's called Into Each Life. I did I did them the other night, but... Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I've not done it tonight, so... <laughs> Um, one of them is 
for Audrey. Audrey Graham yeah. and Brian, Brian Morrison in Shetland uh, would has asked for that one too. So there's a tune I wrote back uh, in when did I write it? 1997, I think it was. So I hope you like it. Could do it with Caratina for a change. Yeah. Okay, on the Infield Swing album of the Woman Kelly Band, uh, there is um, this is the version that's on there, and it goes into Cavatina afterwards. So I hope you like it. Thank you. 
from the, the Deer Hunter that was tune, the film The Deer Hunter, I don't know if you all remember that. So, a few more requests. Billy Peace wants uh, the 60 Fathom Reel 60 set. Fathom Reel oh, yeah. set. I hope you can play that now, Billy. I sent that to you about a month ago, so maybe, uh, maybe you can get the box out and join <laughs> us. <laughs> and thank you from Ivor Scully for Gemma singing. He says that was fab. <laughs> and it was. We'll maybe get some more later on if we're lucky. So, and there's a chief to do as well. Yeah. I don't know that one. You can fire on yourself for that one. So, what would you like to do? Um, Pride of Erin. An Irish eyes are smiling, the green hills of Antrim. Okay. The wild colonial boy. We'll maybe do some more lots of later. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll try and fit them in and yeah. that. We'll, yeah. we'll do something a bit more, maybe upbeat. Yeah. Otherwise, everybody will be going off to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to make everybody sleepy. No, okay. Well, you want to do the reels? Yeah. Yeah, go for the okay. 65 of them, say. One, two, three. <laughs>
flying. It went back. <laughs> it didn't start kind of steady, but it ended up at a, a race. Yeah, I know. You better know what changed it. You might know what changed it. Um, first one was uh, the 60 Fathom Rail, and then in 10, <laughs> Ratty Gans Rail, which is an Irish tune. And then one that I wrote. Um, named Roddy Matthews for the fiddle player Roddy Matthews um, from Northumberland. I'm sure everybody probably kinds why he is, but if you don't, he's a fantastic fiddler. You should look him up. And then um, the last one's written by Alan. It's called Daldy Kirk's Real. Yeah. Written was, for, um, some friends in Denmark uh, who got married. Um, I'm not sure what year it was, but uh, Susanna and Andrew were their name. So Andrew was Welsh. And Susanna is Danish, so that was written for them. They got married in Dalby Kirk in, in uh, Denmark. So. Mm -hmm. so, what else have we got here? Um, Furrow's End for Gavin, my cousin. Yeah? Gavin Under Duncan. the double eagle. <laughs> I'll go and learn that one for next week. <laughs> maybe. Um, maybe I should invite Brandon McPhee to come and play it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what else have we got? There's Billy, Billy Peace. He oh, says yeah. excellent. No bother. I hope you enjoyed that, Billy. Um, Billy Hunter's fiddle. Let's see. I'll just go back up through some of the comments. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to miss any. Oh, Movara. That's in there somewhere. I saw it. Movara. Where did it go? That's a beautiful tune. Uh, it is. Gallic waltz. It is. I saw it somewhere. I'm sure I did. Yes. For Mother's Day tomorrow. Yes, we can do Let's that. Let's do that. My mother, it's Gaelic for my mother. Yes. You want to do that one? Yeah. And um, what's this? I know all the tunes you're playing with. That's a fiddler. He played with the Rob Gordon, Lindy Ross. And Lindsay Ross. Oh, Lindsay Ross and his Scottish dance band. Wow. But he had his own band. And his name is Gus Scott. Gus Margaret. Scott, right. Okay. Very good. Excellent. I remember seeing Rob Gordon, I was just a little boy, being on stage in Octa Murphy as him and his band came and played. Nancy as... Iverson would love to hear more Ronnie Cooper tunes. Okay. That's no problem either. Um, okay. Oh, what? Okay. What are we going to do? What was uh, the one she suggested? Movana. Movana. What version do we play? Whatever you want. You, you choose. Yeah. Any key you want. E4. Where are you going to have you just decide at the time. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Here's some Gallic waltzes for you.
I know. I know. That's my own fault. <laughs> anyway, we've got a few more requests here. Flower of Scotland. Yeah. Oh yeah, we to, we were to do more Ronnie Cooper tunes Ronnie too. Ronnie Cooper tunes, yeah. I don't know if I can mind how Willie Hunter's fiddle goes at the moment. Um, I'll mind it later on once we stop the live. Ones in here <laughs> too that we've still to do. Yeah. Um, Priest Surreal for uh, Brian Reaper. Yeah. Who so Brian's in tonight? Reaper, is it not? Is it Reaper? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um. Um. You've got. And there's the Disney waltzes. I found the copy of them. I did those so. already. John, fa uh, Father John McMillan on the bar. Yeah, left. still play that. That's for uh, that's for Ina Stewart. Yep. So we could maybe throw in John. You know? Chrissy Latham two step, and Belinda Clink scale two step. There was also Pygmy's polka. There was a oh, request yeah. that. We that was Paul and the girls. Yes. Actually, yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Two. Just want to say thank you for the great music. You're very welcome, Jamie. Oh. Thank you. No bother. The Grace Rennick Polka. Grace Rennick will be. Yeah, easy. it'll be Rennick. Yeah. I'm not sure of that one off the top of my head. We'll get that for wait. Raked out for the next time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Uh, <laughs> Eric Goodfell says that reminds me of listening to the accordion bonanza when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> yes, for a generic. Uh, Further back, what was that again? Um, um, well, let's go back. Mars. Yeah, so Mars Legacy at one point. Um, yeah. I can't go any further down. Oh, right. Comments run like. Well, maybe he will tell us. Yeah. Eric, tell us what that first tune was you asked for, but again, if, if, uh, if you don't mind, I'm sure we we're going to play it at some point. I know, the comments, eventually the comments, I can't go any further back. It does not let me. <laughs> Want to play the Disney ones? Yeah, we can do. This has been a request in the last two sessions, that, uh, the last two concerts we've done online. And, uh, to yes, Sorry, and, and it was Shona and Susan McFadden. I don't know if you're Kathleen, in. Kathleen, that's what you asked for. Kathleen, that's right. That's it. Okay, we'll do that, definitely. 
Um, so, this is a set that Gemma arranged uh, for a broadcast a few years ago. It's a dream is a wish your heart makes. Um, and someday my prince will come is the next one. Oh no, it? it's not. Chim Chimmery is the next one. And Chim Chimmery. Then, yeah. And then someday my prince will come. Yeah. I'm still waiting on my prince. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought if I kissed Alan plenty of times, he might turn into one, but it's not what did. Well, keep not trying. Even, do we keep, frogs? Keep trying. It works after about 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And, uh, the, the last one in the set's called When You Wish Upon a Star, so I might need to start doing that tonight. Yeah, keep wishing. <laughs> <laughs> keep wishing. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. For anybody that does yeah. want any of the 
merchandise that we have. Actually, we're, um, we're doing a donation thing at the moment with a page for um, anybody that wants to contribute to watching our live performances can do so using the link that's in the description. Mm -hmm. But there's no obligation. I mean, it's, it's totally free to watch the, the concerts. We're not trying to charge people. But if you do want to pay, then you will get an email from me sometime in the next few days uh, with a 30% off offer for um, any of the merchandise. If you don't have it already, if you do have it already, buy it for your friends. Um, send it to people you don't like. I don't mind. <laughs> you feel, can feel free to panic buy. Yes, it's yes, probably. panic buy on CDs. That would be a brilliant thing for folk to start panic buying on. Yeah. We could just go into the Tesco's and say, listen, you're looking for stock. We have loads. All the shelves for CDs. That's yeah. a brilliant idea. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you can't really help. eat them very much. No, no, them, but... no, they'll not go very far. <laughs> you might end up with a few kind of holes in your stomach if you start eating them. Um, but no, we, we have CDs on the website, there is a link um, to them, but if you're donating, then please uh, just give me a pretty bit of time and I will email you with 30% uh, off. Because it's the 30th year of Loman Kelly Band, we thought, right, we'll, we'll put 30% for everybody that donates, then um, you get something back for, for um, your contribution. Yeah. We've got some of the older CDs of the Woman Kill Your Hands still as yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's eligible on anything. So basically what we'll do, because I kind of seem to figure out the code in myself to put it on the website um, for getting a, like a voucher code in, then um, what I'll probably end up doing is give everybody the option to tell me what it is. If they do want to buy anything, get in touch with me and then I'll sort it out for there. Um, and I'll let you know what, what it ends up being and we can figure out how to pay and stuff. But that was, that's for another time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just while we were speaking about CDs, went off on a tangent. Now, yeah, John Nick Malone and Barra will yes. be fitting for Ina Stewart. Um, we play that with Lady Weaver Park, which is another 2 4 pint map. So, <laughs> there's Marissa. These. Marissa says, Jamie, you got a Disney engagement ring from your prince. Yes, I did. <laughs> Who was he? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. He plays, he plays a white accordion. Kermit, I don't know anybody Kermit like that. Frog. <laughs> 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 oh, you'll turn into a prince one day, Kermit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Piggy likes him, so yeah. that's okay. Yeah, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right, John McMillan of Barra. Father John McMillan, McMillan of Barra. <laughs> yeah, couldn't give him off work to
purchases. Uh, two great 2 4 matches. Really enjoyed that. Good. Thanks, Dave. Um, and I'm sure you're probably the man that could send us all the music for the ones that we don't know. Yes, probably. Um, <laughs> so we're still looking for Joan C. McKenzie uh, for uh, Joan Mackay, who is actually Joan C. McKenzie now, or was. Um, and we're still looking for. What else? There's a couple of other ones that um, yeah. we'll, we'll have to look back the, later Yeah, on. the Grey Serenic Polka, I've got that somewhere. Uh, it's in the Ian McPhail tune. Uh, Ian McPhail book. That's that one. Oh. Isn't that yeah, it? I don't know at all. Uh, oh. off the top of my head. I'm not diddling it. I did this earlier <laughs> on. I was just feeling? about to diddle, diddle a whole tune and then I thought, That's, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> Nobody got, wants to hear a diddling. Yeah, a diddling video. Wanted, um, he wanted the furrow's end. Yeah. Somebody else wanted a pile of urn set we uh, yeah. Irish waltzes. Yeah, we'll do some Irish waltzes for you. We'll try and fit they might not be exactly the ones that you asked for, but we'll try and fit them all in. Uh, what were the ones can you the see? The Clown Scale two step and the Chrissy Lenton two step. Okay, right. Um, I think they're like field tunes. I think. I'm just more Ronnie Cooper tunes for the more Irish Ronnie Cooper, yeah. yeah, we've got a set of Ronnie Cooper, but I don't need the music for that. And that black folder over there. So. And Kirsten asked earlier on oh, for. Yeah. Um, you want to play that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll play yeah, some more. Okay. This is a tune for um, Chris Pooley. Um, it's called The Feisty Kitty Islander, which was written for Fern Sutherland in uh, Shetland. So I'll play that See. and then go into something. <laughs> We're going to be going to some. More Ronnie Cooper tunes. Right, okay. In fact, we'll do Old Wally Hunter after that. We'll if I can in. get into it, that's an E. That's a C to E. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Easier 
doesn't uh, working too well there. <laughs> Sorry, like mine failed in the middle of it. <laughs> I played yeah. the wrong tune to start with, but it was still one of my tunes. Yeah. It's just the wrong one. Yeah, I only have a few tunes. That's all. Yeah. Um, it's another Blue Peter moment. One we did. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the the, the feisty, feisty, feisty Pity Islander, yeah. and then we went into that was Johnny Johnson, That's and then right. Maggie's Bucket, That's right. and finishing with the Corby Swing. Yeah, so Ronnie Cooper tunes. So that's your Ronnie Cooper reels for you. Um, Marissa Bryce says, Jen and Alan, how about a big call out to Doctor Sign and staff who are working away very hard. Brilliant team who love the music. Okay, so a big call out for Dr. Singh. Excellent stuff. I think all the people in the in the hospitals and, and doctor surgeries everywhere that are helping to fight the coronavirus all need a, a massive uh, I think don't applause isn't the right word, but um vote of thanks anyway. Yeah. So uh, and what else have we got here? I think I watched a video the other day, mm. Michael Bublé was speaking about in Argentina, they're all getting outside and starting clapping, but was it Argentina? Somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. Some, somewhere, or maybe it was Spain, I can't mind. He's, he said they were all going outside mm -hmm. and clapping for the healthcare service, for all what they're yeah. doing at the moment. We've still got a French waltz to play for Brian Weaver. Yes, Trist Serrier. I said Brian Reaper. His first name's no grim. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I'm sure Brian, if you're if you're with us at all, <laughs> if you're with us today. Oh man! <laughs> Please forgive him. I can't put him back. He doesn't come with a returns label, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. I'm stuck with this one. <laughs> it's Brian Weeper. Sorry, Brian. So Trist Serier for Brian. Oh my goodness. But the Grim Reaper might come out before you well, go home. Well, he might. <laughs>
for you. So, so what's happening on the news feed here? There's quite a few actually. I know that Car Gill says that was brilliant. Miss we'll Johnson Mackenzie and Chris Renick Polka, I have news that your mammy says no bother. That's great. Excellent. They Email them over, Dave. Or send them in a Facebook message or something. Yeah, I'll send them in a Facebook page uh, on a message and we'll play them tomorrow in their concerts. I'm sure there's, oh, there's another one that somebody requested earlier and I can't mind it now. It's um, Loch Inver. Yes, if anybody knows that, Dave, if you've got a copy of Loch Inver, we've never said that through. No. Saturday night, you know, Saturday night. Um, no, this beats Whistler watching much, Kelly. Uh, this done all of these one. ones, I think. Yeah, yeah I think all these ones have been done, so excellent, that's good. Did you do, um, there was one that was, um, you did those ones. Yeah, they've all been done. The whole lot. It's paused. It's going to be back on you. Yeah. I don't know if that's paused at your end, but we've been interrupted, rudely interrupted. Interrupted by Facebook. <laughs> so, we'll do some no, tunes that are uh, not requests, we'll maybe do some of our own ones. Oh, we've done, oh no, Furrow's End for Furrow's Garden, end for probably that. We just did a waltz. That was a fast one. Oh, okay, so. yeah, that's fine, we'll do a slow one. And we've still keep Martin's to do. Yeah, and there's, um, Ivor Scully asked for Brian Gare's slow air. Yeah, okay, we'll do Keep Martin's and Furrow's End yeah. now. Furrow's okay. End is a tune written by, by Gordon Patillo, it's a great tune. And Keep Martin's Waltz is we'll way better. I'll go on so I get the comments back. Because mm. otherwise I won't see them. Straight in, one, two, three, two, two. <laughs> Song, Gemma. I'm going to sit right down, please. I'm going to sit right down. 
No, you don't sing it. <laughs> you can sing it, actually. That yeah. would be really funny for the change. <laughs> oh, right <laughs> yeah, we can do another song. Yeah, we'll do and, that. And uh, Daniel chosen his ass up um, Off to the North by Judy Nicholson. So, Off to the North, do you know? I would need to look at, uh, look at um, Andy Judy's music for that one. Yeah. I love a wee French waltz. Oh, there's um, As You Can Fit Well. Yeah. I shot the film. We yeah, I forgot about that actually. <laughs> somebody asked about that. That was Joe. Yesterday. Where did you get that? Joe somebody. No. Uh, that was Jake. One. Oh, it was Jake, yeah. Oh, and the Moral Highlanders even went to some That's right. Lily okay. Dale. Cool. Okay, so what we're doing now? We're doing a song now, right? Yeah. We can yeah. do that. <laughs>
mum said to me when we were going to be doing um, our CD, because Alan convinced me to do your two songs on the CD, and um, mum says, you're not going to let you do a dub a dub a bit in, are you? She <laughs> says, you sound like you're not right in the head. <laughs> I'm not, so... <laughs> In case anybody didn't have came already, I'm not quite all there. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. But Brian Gear is slow here. Oh, yes. Uh, forever, if he's still here. Okay, um, I'll get you the cords for it. You need the cords for it. Um, if you've got them handy, yeah, that would be great. Um, this is a tune that Gemma wrote. Uh, Brian. Stop it, didn't it? Stop it half past. Did that on there. Please. Yeah. So I don't know. It should be okay. Yeah. They'll be stopping at half past. Half yeah. Um, Ten past. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. Okay. Oh, also, there was another request that I've never had. Yeah. We'll move you that before then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a, a new slow that I, I wrote. Um, Fourth, well, sometime before October, I wrote him and then um, played it off at the Chitland Recording and Fiddle Festival. Um, because I had it for uh, Brian Gear, so it's it's written for Brian, and I think I'm probably just going to call it Brian Gear's Air, but no, I might not actually. That sounds a bit we, we thought maybe Gear's Air, but it sounds <laughs> like he's running out of breath, so we'll, we'll, we'll see <laughs> what it ends up being cut. But it is, it's a slow air that I wrote for Brian. So we need to uh, get something faster on the go here. 
Oh. Yeah. What else is there? Any other requests? Just. Four string polka. Oh. Aye, go for that. I've not played that for the pretty start, so yeah, maybe. Give them some more singing channel and more <laughs> be the be better boot box stuff too. <laughs> 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 what Excellent. time are you on tomorrow so we, that we can all tune in? I think tomorrow, if, um, if we're doing one, it'll be night time because Alan has to be on um, tomorrow through the day. So. Yeah, and it's Mother's Day and everybody's got stuff on. So yes. I think so we'll, I would we'll be good to try market. and see my own mum as well. Yes, <laughs> so. we'll, we'll maybe mark it night time, maybe yeah. even same time again, about 8 o'clock ish. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow night. So um, we'll be cheering so, tomorrow night. Yeah. Eight. Just for anybody that is going offline that hasn't managed to. To buy dot wait we're going to be stop in about fifty minutes. Yeah. Um but then I go away yet we're still we're still here for a free start. <laughs> <laughs> um oh yeah, full spring polka. Yeah. So see. Uh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the right, do the one we'll do the we'll do the right time and just after it. What you say? D. Okay. I think. I might. We're going to D anyway, whatever we do. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll just see what happens. What? Do you, oh I do the intro. Why yeah, am I putting you, you in? No idea. <laughs> Good <laughs> myself in. <laughs>
Nee, 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 it was, it was only a few weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> My memory's not like you, Dan. That was awful fast. <laughs> no, you chose to speak. I know I did. <laughs> Your mum's just instantly like regretted it when I got the second brilliant. tune. Mac and what? Mac and wires clicking away faster and faster. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you'll hear a jump For anybody head. that doesn't know what Mac and wires are, it's nothing needles. <laughs> You'll be a jump at me, but now then we. Very good. Oh, it's yeah. really warm in here. We've got um, Kathleen to do. We've still not done that. Yes. Yet. Uh, for, um, for, um, what is it? Orange. Orange. Yeah, Eric Goodfellow. That was who it was for. Yeah. Uh, oh. Fields of Avonlea. Yeah. Um, right, right, that's what. First drink polka, any donations welcome. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's see. Uh, Teddy Bear's picnic. Thank you from North Ayrshire. When's the stream? Okay, I think we'll do this, uh, Kathleen. For yes, we will. Because he asked earlier today for that. So. There's a tube we played in the, the last session this afternoon. Uh, it's a rubber bike tune, it's called Kathleen.
Is there a good fellow? Uh, and he says, uh, excellent. Thank you both. Uh, really enjoying, enjoying all the brilliant music you're playing. Good. Excellent, Eric. I hope you're well. And uh, we'll carry on now. We'll just do one more, will we? Yeah, we can just make up some tunes. Marissa wants a stromash. You got the piano out. Yeah, Marissa. you got the <laughs> Hope you got the keyboard down. Better tell it. them what keys we're going to be in next. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what I do. I've got to follow on. Same as Gemma does. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll finish off with a, a set of jigs and reels, I think. Um, it's like been a pleasure playing for you all again. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, been a good session. Yes, so. it's been great fun. And keep it the um, requests coming. Even though we're not online, you can send us messages, put them up, and yeah, you can send private messages to the band, or you can send individually, or you can just comment on the videos um, and the posts that we put up, saying what time the next video is going to be at. The next one, I think, we'll leave tomorrow afternoon into it, and we'll just go for one tomorrow night at eight o'clock. So. Yeah. If anybody wants to join us, then that would be great, and mm -hmm. we'll try and play some more of your requests and um, have a bit more of an ease up. Yeah. <laughs> See Good. how far we can get it to go. <laughs> right, so we'll start with Atom Highlanders. It's an A Marissa, if you've got the keyboard there. This is just saying hello to somebody else. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs>
assuming he's my dad. <laughs> What's going on, Bob? <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us, and um, yeah, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Yeah, and remember, if if any of you are kind enough that you would like to leave a donation, and for those that have already left donations, you are entitled to thirty percent off all our merchandise. Yes, so, um, I will be sending out emails with with the kind of details of how you can get yeah. your thirty percent discount. Um, but in the meantime, yeah. That doesn't safe. mean Look that doesn't mean that we send you two thirds of a CD, by the way. No, no. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much for. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Cheers.